it's not the giant woodpecker from Pomeroy, Kentucky. No, it's not the giant woodpecker, but it is another bird. Yeah, it's another bird. It's the raven. It's the raven of Pomeroyton, Kentucky. It just moved in, a next door neighbor to me. I painted my late corn patch, probably late July. Corn got up to about six, maybe eight inches, eight inches high. Yeah, there was the new neighbors. There they were. There they were out there in that late patch of golden queen corn. Yeah, I washed them from my porch. I washed them airplane in and airplane out. I didn't want to bother them for I knew they was hungry, just as hungry as any other animal out there without food. Yeah, they're the ravens. They stand 26 inches tall with a wingspan of four feet. So how, how is it going to be done? I have heard the old saying that you can outfox the fox. But I've got a new saying. Just maybe, maybe I can outfox the raven. Or you might want to say it, I may, I may uh, be smarter than the raven to see what I could do to hide at the first week of August Silver Queen corn patch from them. Well, I figured it out. What am I going to do? I said, well, I look at the, the earlier corn patch that's already made its harvest and already made its due. I said, I'm going to take the corn, uh, four seeds at a time, and put it in the middle of each one of the older corn stalks that's standing about eight feet high. So, there I am in that old garden that was planted early spring that went through the May frost and also went through the mighty windful storms. Yeah, I'm out there planting that corn one more time. I don't know whether the ravens are high in a tree or whether on a telephone pole or whether on a hot wire or watching what I'm doing. But you know, I kind of believe I can out-raven the raven. So stay tuned and I'll let you know how it all would come to an end.